So hey everyone, welcome to this month's session, Snack and Learn. We are here with our friends uh, for help, uh, the Atlassian folks. Super excited to have them join this month. Uh, I'm Travis Anderson, uh, with me is Doug Mosa. We're both Modern Work Customer Success Managers, and really our job is to help around business value and adoption of all of these M365 capabilities that you own today. Uh, as mentioned, we're excited to have the Atlassian folks to help kind of accelerate business and show us some of the cool things that they're doing uh, with help, if, if you're familiar. So we'll, we'll learn a little, little bit more about that. Um, housekeeping notes real quick. We will be recording the session, as you can see. Uh, we'll be, within the next 24 hours, it'll be up at that help snackable link. So we, we do have a, a YouTube channel, uh, what are the superheroes, I believe. So. Lots of previous sessions are up there as well with uh, whether it's Workday or Polly or Brainstorm. So we'll share that link uh, to some of the past recordings as well. Um, looks like everyone's muted, so we appreciate that. If you do have a question, either throw it in the chat or you can use the raise hand feature and we'd be happy to have you come off and, and share. Uh, again, this is a monthly slash bi-monthly session. We've been doing this uh, since December and it's all about creating awareness of all the different uh, third-party applications that you can plug into Teams. And we would really appreciate your feedback. Uh, and we do have some, some prizes to give away as well at that Plat Snack survey. So if there's help that you need, whether can you help us plug help together with team, how do we get started? And I think we're gonna find out that it's actually pretty easy. So, uh, but we're happy to, to help get you uh, to the right folks and, and arm you with the right knowledge, as well as what other things do you wanna know um, as far as what other applications are you excited to see down the path? So. Um, many of us uh, are, are kind of familiar with that whole Teams as a platform concept, what, what that really means. It's not just those Microsoft first party applications, we have them first party applications. Um, you know, you're, you're plugging planner into your teams and channels, you're co-authoring on a document in Word. Maybe you're, you've got, you're transforming a business process uh, with Power Automate and, and, um, and, uh, and, and, a, and a Power App. But then it's also extending and bringing in some of these great third party applications. Well, we, again, we call them third party applications uh, and, and connecting those two teams. What's great about that is many of these applications, these third party applications you're already using today in your environment. So it's much easier for your IT partners to turn on those capabilities to allow your folks to use those applications. There's, there's already business justification there. And you know why should I care? Well, really, customers that are leveraging applications in Teams really grows that adoption by seventy five percent. So there's your there's there's your ROI. There's there's your your platform value. So um, that's all I'm going to say to this slide. We've we've tackled this many times for for those of you that have joined before. But uh, we'd really like to introduce uh, Tristan and Tori to, to kind of share the the story of of help. We will turn it over to you. All right, I'm taking control of the slides here. Great. Thank you so much, Travis and Dave, for having me here. Um, and like like Travis mentioned, I'm here to talk to you about Atlassian's latest product investment specifically designed for Microsoft Teams. At HALP, we've built a really lightweight ticketing system that lives right in your chat system. I'm Tristan Rubido. I'm the product manager here for HALP. And I'm one of the original co-founders. One moment here. All right. Help is not your typical, typical ticketing system. We specifically built for Microsoft Teams to meet your team where they're already working. We try to provide the right amount of process to keep things flowing. We're trying to make ticketing as easy as a conversation you'll have with a coworker. That old interaction where you would be sending an email, going to a portal, that back and forth would typically take days, if not sometimes longer. Um, we're trying to provide value and do direct customer interaction right within chat. You're, you're employees at the same company and uh, there's no reason to be sending emails to one another. So let me tell you a bit why 
a bit about why integrations at Help and Microsoft Teams can support your business efforts. Atlassian recently did a third-party report with 451 Research, which is part of the S&P's Global Marketing Intelligence Division. And uh, in that report, we interviewed Atlassian users about how integrations have benefited their internal teams through, through challenges, collaboration, and help to increase team productivity and efficiencies. And these are just to highlight a few. 78% of users indicated that integrations have helped them support their remote workers. 86 said integrations can improve collaboration, teamwork, and break down team silos that are building. Lastly, 64% of respondents said they reported having more than six hours a week uh, per person, or, sorry, saving more than six hours a week per person. That's 312 hours per year. A quick overview of HELP. HELP is designed as a bot or a tabbed application that sits within Microsoft Teams, an embedded app. Um, it allows your team to capture requests that are coming in via direct chats, group channels, or from a support email address. One of the main pain points that we hear um, nowadays is once people deploy chat, um, they're getting direct messages from their coworkers with uh, direct requests for, for help. And that's a nightmare for uh, prioritization and tracking that work. Um, it's the model, modern equivalent of a drive-by, somebody coming just directly by your office and not logging a ticket, right? Um, why do we believe help is great for Microsoft Teams? Um, besides the amazing response we've gotten in the market so far from our customers, we make it easy for you to track those requests spread across areas you're already communicating in, like Teams and channels and group mess group direct messages, direct direct messages. Uh, help can automate those business workflows between teams through our uh, powerful automated routing recipes, and we can also recommend answers uh, to help you self-resolve those issues through our Help Answers product, which helps do ticket deflection on uh, commonly asked questions. Lastly, we provide robust reporting um, that helps your team understand progress on issues, measure the volume of requests and resolutions. So depending on how you're using Help, um, you can either use it as a standalone ticketing system or integrate it with other ITSM products such as Jira Service Desk, um, which you may already have uh, robust reporting built out there. You could view the help reporting specifically for your chat deployment and see how your chat tickets are performing against your email-based tickets. All right, these are, who's using help today? Help works great um, specifically for IT and operations teams, but we've also seen this great uh, expansion happening with, with help. It's almost the, the Trello of ticketing, right? It can be used for HR and legal, and we've seen sales ops teams adopting help. Um, it's very customizable, and once people start seeing it in channels and in direct messages, um, they start to raise their hand and say, hey, hey, I, I want to use that in chat ticketing system as well. So we've seen it go horizontally in an organization very, very well. Um, not, not just for IT anymore. And these are some of the great customers that we're working with right now. We're working with uh, startups all the way to, you know, Fortune 500 companies, some of your leading tech startups, all the way to, um, you know, your uh, your your neighborhood law firm. We we have a, a whole wide gamut of customers that that have uh, adopted help in Microsoft Teams, and they're seeing amazing value. Um, some people, depending on their size and their business needs, like I said, are using it uh, a combination of standalone or with a uh, backend integration that we offer deep two-way syncs on. 
All right. Let's get into a little demo of the product here. Let me share here. Okay. And so you can see I have my Microsoft Teams instance open in a web browser. Um, there's several ways to kick off starting a ticket in help. You can uh, react to any message that's been posted. You can create a ticket off of any direct message or message in a channel, which is really nice for retroactively making a ticket if somebody posts a question to you. Um, you can also guide your users to proactively use the message extension down here and easily launch a form. You can make any customizable fields and forms here for required information you want to collect, such as categorization or you know a, a version number or something that would help you uh, you know um, slice and dice your tickets. So let's just do an example. Um, pretty typical. So once you submit a ticket, a couple things happen here. So as the ticket requester, the person who is seeking help and who filled out that form, once I submit that form, I'm going to get a direct message from the help app. Um, I can see that my request is open. I have this adaptive card here. I can see my title and it's yes, it's requested by Tristan and it's unassigned so far. I can easily reply right in this adaptive card and give more context if I need to. And those comments roll right up into the adaptive card. So switching personas over to the uh, help desk agent, if you will, the people that are answering these help requests, we've designed a team uh, called the triage team. And in that team are where the agent versions of these tickets are going to. And the real nice thing about how we've designed help is we manage your agent count, your, your license count by the people that are in this team. So as you can see, you know, there are six, six agents in this team, and those are the people who can get notified, get a notification when a new ticket came into their queue. You can set up multiple queues and have different agents on different teams like, you could have an HR triage team and IT wouldn't be able to see HR's tickets and, 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 and that um, so forth. So you can see there's a few more interface options here on the agent ticket. Uh, as the agent, I can reply and say, you know, uh, I'm on it. And those comments get rolled right up into that adaptive card. It's a little, uh, you know, I'm I'm playing both sides of this uh, example, so um, just bear with me. That's like an agent reply. As you can see, I can also send a private note that's just for the agents to see. Um, I ordered this one, right? And if we go back over to the requester view in the DM, I can see that you know my public reply posted out to the ticket requester, but we suppressed that that private reply, that internal note. That's just uh, for the agents here in this triage thread. I can also quickly assign it to myself, and we'll see that adaptive card update here. It's now assigned to me, and now moving forward, now that I'm the agent assigned to this ticket i'll get notifications uh, specifically you know if this comment is up if uh, this ticket's updated and the requester left a new comment i can also attach a file this will launch a, a file picker or or you know change the status here so that's basically the the ticket life cycle that's gone through uh, we can see that uh, you know we we launched the ticket, the request right in chat. We commented back and forth. The agent sent a couple of comments and has closed this ticket. So that whole life cycle of the ticket was all from within chat, um, which is super powerful for kind of that async lightweight communication. Um, 
However, if you need to go view the help web app, we do have a more traditional, you know, ticketing uh, uh, view here. So you can view my keyboard is broken. Hello world. We can see all of the tickets that have come in this day. Let's go in and see what this looks like in our web app. So you can see, you know, Tristan, the requester applied. We have some uh, event tracking on what happened and the timestamps. We can add any custom due date to this. So it's really, we like to think about help as an iceberg product. It looks very simple in chat. Um, it's very easy and lightweight to get going, but there are a lot of custom, uh, customizable options and very powerful features that you can, uh, you know, enable. You can reply right from here, you know, from the web. If you prefer to work from the web app, this will relay out to Teams and do a direct message out to the ticket requester. Um, some of that reporting we talked about this is pretty chat specific reporting. You know, we can filter by custom dates, uh, custom fields. We can see which agents are opening and closing tickets, resolution times. Etc. Um, I also like to touch on some of the, the setting and configuration options. So when I was talking about those deep ITSM integrations, here's where they would set that up. We can set up a JIRA, we can set up a Zendesk, and um, setting this up is as simple as doing a quick OAuth, granting access, um, and then mapping any custom fields that you have set up in JIRA. So if you have a category field in JIRA, we can pull that in. We can do all your custom dropdown options so there's no duplicating that setup. Um, same, same, same uh, in that same thread, if you are just using it standalone, you can build all those custom fields out here as well. Um, it's very simple to you know, create a dropdown, add an option, you know, this, that, and the other. Um, so you can do some pretty, uh, you can add those to the forms that will pop up in Teams. I also like to touch on our recipe builder. So this is the, you know, the, um, if this, then that, right? So pretty powerful chat stuff. If a ticket is created with a certain form and that form is the general request form, then let's assign it to Cam because he's the best to deal with those types of things. Or we can, when it's uh, in the status and the status is closed, then we want to send an automated message. Thanks for using help, All right? Um, there's some pretty powerful stuff that you can build with these uh, with these routing recipes, uh, we like to call them. Here, you can also, this is where you can build out those other queues, like we mentioned the HR queue and the IT queue. Um, you can have specific forms that are attached to those queues. Um, you, know, you can get a, an overview of your agent count, admins, agents. Admins are able to uh, use the setting configuration here in in the help web app agents can just work the tickets and we do offer our own version of slas so you know if a ticket has been in pending for 24 hours then we want to know about it and we can breach in it in sla right um so pretty powerful options to help you get your workplace requests managed um but again going back to that in chat experience kind of what we're really known for to the employees at the company this felt very natural right you got a ticket from the bot you replied you got a direct message notification when your comment came in it's basically replacing email and a portal um, which is really really nice for the requester side and very nice for the agent side as well this triage channel you know, they can see a feed of tickets coming in. They can kind of get the history over the last few days. If they need to go back and uh, answer a ticket from last week, they can scroll back up or they can search here, uh, use the, the native team search, or they can go back and use the web app, you know, to, to view older tickets. So there's a lot of optionality here. And I'll, um, 
kind of kind of stop there. Um, that's kind of the whole life cycle of the help in chat experience. Tristan, a couple of items in the chat, and Tori, if you yeah. want to address those for the group. Uh, I know Kirk had asked about the web view or the web app component tree, but can you go back and share your screen one more time on bringing up your team's, you know, your team's integration pieces, and then I've got a few follow-on questions. But Kirk, were there, you know, I know Tori responded to your note. Were there other questions that you had had? No, my. My concern was, you know, if you have a number of tickets in that group chat or in the sorry in the channel, you know, how mm -hmm. are you to keep track of, you know, a ticket that's a week two weeks old when there's hundreds of chats after that? So, um, yeah, yeah, it's great for kind of like the the getting notification that a new ticket came in and kind of kind of that whack a mole break fix uh, uh, use case. It is a if you're going back and doing older tickets. So in our uh, tabbed app we're releasing here very shortly, you're going to have more filtering available in the tab, which will be nice that you could view, you could basically have this whole uh, ticket list view and filtering options in the tab. Um, we're gonna bring this whole iframe in, right? So that, that might be a better way to manage all from within chat. But um, yeah, you can always go back and view older tickets here from the help web app. Um, but our goal is to bring all of that functionality into chat. And, and you know, we use help at help to do our external customers, our shared channels. And um, it, it, it's once you get the hang of it, it is it, it is very nice to be able to kind of um, what you find is you don't have those long running tickets anymore. Everything is kind of handled a little bit quicker. <laughs> um, and some of those things you don't tend to go back uh, a week because it's more of this short, almost SMS style communication rather than long winded emails, I would say. That's that's kind of the, the, the byproduct of that. Sure. Uh, Tristan, can you talk a little bit about the implementation side of it from, you know, if, if folks on the call would like to integrate help into their team's environment today, what does that process look like? You don't necessarily have to show, you know, step by step here, but is it uh, heavy lifting, pretty straightforward? No, great question. Thanks for, for asking. So you can download help, uh, you can install it right from the app source and we do a, a quick onboarding um, tutorial right there in chat. Once you, you know, grant admin consent, you set up a triage channel, add the help app to that triage channel, you're pretty much making your first tickets right there within the first 20 minutes, right? Um, then you can go and add any custom fields to the forms, add an integration, that type of things. Um, we've tried to make that onboarding and you know uh, path to value very very quick um unlike a lot of itsm integrations that you know uh take maybe a month to set up and a lot of heavy lifting we we like to be the the trello the very lightweight version um but again going back to that iceberg uh product you know very uh what you see is very small um and it looks simple but if you want there's a lot under the water that you can go do down and do and make it customizable that's helpful and then as far as resources go uh i know travis and i will be sending out a note to everybody here uh more than likely tomorrow um but uh will there be some links to resources uh, is there a user guide or any type of information that you'd recommend yeah, certainly. So our uh, we have links on our help center that can do guided uh, installs. Oh, let's go right to the next one. Yeah, I would encourage anybody to go uh, trial the product, download it from the app source. We can give you an extended uh, free trial here. I would welcome to get on the phone with anybody and do any. Uh, you know, personalized demo or, or, or walk through with anybody from this from this call. Um, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised how quickly you could get value from it. 
and also kind of how powerful it is on the back end. That's great. Appreciate it very much. Well, we're bumping up at the end of our time here now, folks. And, and so if there are remaining questions, uh, certainly put them on the chat or feel free to come off mute if you'd like as well. But really appreciate the help team joining us today. Really love the overview and you know the spirit of these conversations around the Snackable series for Travis and I was really to drive awareness of the different capabilities and offerings that we have to, to create that single pane of glass, whether it be for the administrative side or certainly for the end users. And so a few asks on what's next here, but we have a survey. Uh, the link is live here in the chat. If you have an opportunity to click on that, that helps us get better as we go forward. And we'll be continuing this series uh, you know, for the foreseeable future. And so even recommendations on other partners you'd like to see, uh, feel free. Travis, go ahead. Thanks for acknowledging that I had my hand raised. <laughs> I, I was going to ask the, the, the team here, um, knowing that you're you're under that Atlassian umbrella, um, any information or nuggets you have in regards to some of the, the other Atlassian applications in which uh, I know that some, some things are happening with, with JIRA, um, Confluence, any updates that you can share on what folks can, can, can learn with what's happening in those two spaces? Yeah, yeah, certainly. So, um... I think we've we've done a lot of knowledge sharing between the the uh, teams that are working uh, right now, currently building out um, the Jira and the Confluence application. So today, just like um, you know, older uh, chat applications of old, I think that the first wave of chat applications were very notification based and sent like something happened in a third party app we're going to notify you in chat you click a hyperlink go back out to the web app and i think um those teams over in jira and confluence are trying to take that same approach as help is how can we move the majority of that interaction in chat and keep people less context switching so I think you're going to be able to have more interfaces to actions, to do user stories, to see card interactions, you know, to actually uh, create pages from within uh, teams. It's going to be pretty exciting stuff that's on the horizon for both Confluence and Jira. That's awesome. And when can we expect to see some of those things come to fruition? I'm I'm hearing that I, I think that's going to be coming towards the end of the summer, uh, early fall type timeline. But um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not on that team, yep. but uh, yep. that's kind of the timelines that I'm hearing. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of customers, obviously, even on this call that are big Jira cloud, Jira server, yep. confluence uh, users today. So I know they're, they're excited to get their hands on that. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. Appreciate it. If there's any last questions, uh, chat it up now. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Uh, but thanks, everyone, for joining. Help, folks. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the partnership. Yeah, thank you guys for having us. And, and like I said, I dropped my email in here. If anybody would like a, a, a walkthrough, you know, a more, more personalized demo, we'd love to hear about what you guys are looking for in, in Teams uh, in terms of ticketing. Thanks, everybody, for joining today. We really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.